This tutorial demonstrates how to use the science-specific search engine, Cyrus, focusing on finding gray literature. Cyrus is a comprehensive search engine for scientific information. It indexes over 410 million science-specific web pages. It includes journal content, but also scientists' homepages, courseware, preprints, patents, theses, institutional repository, and website information. You can see the range of the content Cyrus includes here. If you'd like to know more about the information sources included, you can scroll down. For example, here are all the digital archives that are included. The help files are excellent. Under search tips, you can learn how to do general, basic, advanced searching, and check out the tools to learn how to export your results to bibliographic software, such as EndNote. Before beginning your search, set your preferences. If you're going to be exporting results, you do them a page at a time, so I've chosen 50. And you'll want to enable UAB libraries, which you can find from this drop-down. That way, you should see a UAB article linker button when you look at an article that's licensed by UAB, and you'll be able to get to full text. Now, let's do a basic search. If you're interested in C. diff in nursing homes, put your phrases in quotes, and I'm using the OR operator for synonyms, and the asterisk at the end of nursing home to retrieve articles on either nursing home or nursing homes, and then click on search. You'll see your search terms that you ran up here, and the result list is relevancy ranked you do have the option to rank by date. On the left side of the page, you'll see your results are clustered. Now, if you've done a good literature review in PubMed or other databases, you probably don't want to look at the journal sources. And for gray literature, you will be more interested in the preferred web area because you don't want published sources. I'll click on preferred web. And you'll notice right away that quite a few of these are patents. I, if I don't want patents, I can remove them from my search by adding the minus sign and patent at the end of it. So I'm going to do that. And you'll see now that I've gone down to only 100 preferred web results. I'll click on those. Most of these look like theses and dissertations. We'll take a look at number four. This is a thesis. And like most of the theses that you find in Cyrus, you can get to full text, in this case, by clicking here. Going back, another choice you have is to refine your search by keywords that are identified by the computer from your result list. Let's look at long-term care. When I do that, my preferred web results are dropped down to 23, so it's an easy way to narrow your search if you have a lot of results. Other web sources bring up other sources of information, but there are usually quite a few of them. One thing you can do is click on PDFs to lower the number. And you'll notice that a lot of these are going to be articles. You can continue to narrow your result and then scroll down your list to get beyond the relevancy ranking to get to the place where you might find gray literature. And you may find good things this way, but at this level, it's probably easier to go to the advanced search. So let's take a look at that. 
The advanced search allows you to build some fairly complicated strategies. This is very useful if you're working on a meta-analysis or a systematic review, and you want to use similar search terms as you used in your database searches. Advanced search also offers some useful limits that we will look at. Let's start to build our search. I'll use any of the words in order to put a string of synonyms in for C. difficile. And then I'll combine it with another search string. This search string is on the concept of nursing homes. I'll click on search. And I have about 339 of those preferred web results. If I want to narrow it with yet another concept, I'll click on Advanced Search. Cyrus has combined my search strings in the top box and gives me another search box. So again, I'll put in any of the words and add cross-infection or nosocomial infection and click on Search. Combining those has really reduced my result set to 43. Now, from the advanced search page, I can do some limits. For example, if I want gray literature and I'm particularly interested only in theses, dissertations, and conferences, I can apply those limits and click on search. And now my result list is only 16, and it's primarily theses. I also have the ability to continue to refine over here. Another option I have is to go back to the advanced search page and instead of choosing a particular type of result, I can eliminate journal sources and then leave my web resources and I can go to subject area and limit, for example, to medicine. I could also choose to only look at PDFs. and rerun the search. Now you'll see that there are far fewer of the other web sources than we have seen. And you can see that a lot of them are starting out as gray lit. So we see um, a lot of guidelines, conference proceedings, and so forth. Of course, the type of gray literature that you will find will be specific to your topic, but Cyrus can be a very useful way for you to search for gray literature. For help with Cyrus or any resource, please contact a Lister Hill librarian by phone, email, or chat. And to learn more about gray literature in the health sciences, see the Lister Hill Library Guide on Gray Literature.